Is it time to buy or sell DraftKings stock? In this video, we're diving deep into DraftKings. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, May 23, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 11, 2023, our system has ranked DraftKings as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.94. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 29.44% since we first listed DraftKings as a buy candidate 31 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.95% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 36.56% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 21.7% and 42.53%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 39.4% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 20.78% and 45.02%. This translates to a price range of $19.23 to $35.20 after a year. Our latest daily update for DraftKings includes the headline, DraftKings stock downgraded to buy candidate. The DraftKings stock price fell by minus 3.77% on the last day, Tuesday, May 23, 2023, from $25.22 to $24.27. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 5.27% from a day low at $24.12 to a day high of $25.39. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 0.45% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 18 million shares and in total, 13 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $313.45 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $26.41, and the lowest price was $10.52. Currently, the price is 8.09%, or $2.14, below the 52-week high, and 67.37%, or $50.11, below the all-time high on March 22, 2021, when the price reached $74.38. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Tuesday, March 7, 2023, Argus Research set a price target of 22. On Tuesday, March 7, 2023, Argus Research set a price target of 22. On Friday, January 6, 2023, Piper Sandler set a price target of 15. On Friday, January 6, 2023, Piper Sandler set a price target of 15. On Friday, January 6, 2023, Piper Sandler set a price target of 15. Analysts have given DraftKings stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for DraftKings. The DraftKings stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $23.84 and $21.70. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, May 22, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 3.77%. 
Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 2 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 25 days ago. Short term moving average, buy signal 5 days ago. Long term moving average, buy signal 32 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 37 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 5 days ago. The long term moving average, sell signal 83 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 80 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for DraftKings DraftKings find support from accumulated volume at $23.98 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $1.27 between high and low, or 5.27%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 5.01%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for DraftKings, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on August 04, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.290. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for DraftKings. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for DraftKings is at $24.38. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, DraftKings encounters its first support level at $23.98. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for DraftKings from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 2, 2023, Walden Marnie M conducted an insider buy of 851 shares of Class A common stock. On May 2, 2023, Walden Marnie M conducted an insider buy of 851 shares of restricted stock units. On May 2, 2023, Walden Marnie M conducted an insider sell of 851 shares of restricted stock units. On May 2, 2023, Sloan Harry conducted an insider buy of 737 shares of Class A common stock. On May 2, 2023, Sloan Harry conducted an insider buy of 737 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 22.105. Overall, insiders purchased 1,428,542 shares and sold 2,161,127 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $23.01 minus 5.17%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found one day ago. Is DraftKings stock a good buy? 
Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for DraftKings stock to perform well in the short term. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a strong buy to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Wednesday, May 24, we expect DraftKings to open up $0.323 and start trading at $24.59. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.